You may have heard the term alpha channel, but may not have been aware of exactly what it meant. An alpha channel is simply a channel on an image that is able to preserve and show that transparency in another application. So for example, if you guys check out the Hannibal.png in your work files folder, you'll be able to see when I drag it and make a new comp that right away we can't really see any transparency happening on this image, right? It's just like a black background. But if we take the ice JPEG, and that's also in your work files folder, and we drag it to the layer underneath Hannibal, all of a sudden that black background is replaced with the picture. That's because the information around this PNG was created inside of Photoshop to be transparent. So After Effects respects that information. Now this is very handy whenever you want to bring in an object and animate it over another background. And when you want to do composites, where well, you're going to take the camera and zoom all the way in, say a cityscape or a park, mountains, and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can make your own custom alpha channel, just in case you've never done it before. So I'm going to head over to Photoshop. And I'm going to create a brand new document. And the first thing I'm going to show you when I create a new document is the one thing you need to make sure of first. Make sure your background contents is set to transparent. Now typically it's either on white or background color. 90% of the time it's on white. So transparent will give you the ability to start your PNG very easily. So I'm going to say OK. And you'll see this checkerboard pattern. Now at first it might throw you for a loop. You're like, hey, what's up with this pattern? Well this is Photoshop's way of telling you that there's nothing really here. Instead of just presenting a blank nothing, it gives you something to look at. So what I want you guys to do is to take your brush and we're going to just create a very basic shape. I'm going to click on the swatch down here and I'll change my color to, let's see, a blue. And I'm simply going to make a brush stroke. All right. And I just have a, a brush that has a pattern on it. So whatever brush you're using is fine. And I'm going to just do something like this. Okay. Just a couple of shapes. Now what I'm going to do is save this file by going to file, save, and on my desktop, I'll save it as the PNG file format, which stands for Portable Network Graphics. I'll just call it smudge. Smudge.png. And I'll say OK. Now I'll head back to After Effects. And let me go ahead and just hit the eyeballs on these guys here. Actually, I'll bring my ice back. And I'm going to double click in my project panel. And I'll go to my desktop. And I'll click on the smudge.png and then I'll simply drag it on top of the ice. And you'll notice that we can see the ice through this pattern that I have here. And this is how you can easily create your own alpha channel to animate objects inside of After Effects.